Welcome back to another video here on the old YouTube channel. Got another top 10 video for y'all today, and that is going to be my top 10 favorite albums from the 1970s. Really like the 1970s quite a bit. Tons of great um, bands and artists in this decade. Lots of great songs and albums, so it was definitely a hard uh, video to make or a hard list to make, I should say. But I did it, narrowed it down to just 10, and I'm going to give you those in this video. So with all the bullshit out of the way, let's get right to it. So coming in at number 10 is an album I got into, uh, not recently, maybe in the last year or so a lot more. And that is going to be Book of Dreams from the Steve Miller Band. I've liked the Steve Miller Band quite a bit for as long as I can remember, but I've really got into them a lot more, especially their 70s run of albums uh, within the last year or so. And this is easily my favorite by them. Has pretty much my favorite Steve Miller Band tunes on here. You know, you have Winter Time and Jungle Love, Swain Town. Lots of their biggest hits actually are on this album. And, you know, the whole album as a whole is pretty consistent. Not a 10 out of 10 album for me like the rest of the albums are because I really don't care for the noise track interludes that are in between some of the songs. But other than that, I think the album is pretty enjoyable. One that I will probably always did quite a bit. So Book of Dreams, that is going to come in at number 10. Coming in at number 9 is probably a little higher on some other people's list. And that is going to be the debut album from Black Sabbath. I mean, Black Sabbath 70s run is pretty consistent with the exception of maybe two or three albums at the end. Uh, but their debut has always been my favorite Black Sabbath Aussie album. I think I like some of the Dio ones a little bit more than the Aussie stuff. But as far as Aussie stuff goes, especially from the 70s, this is easily my favorite album. Has my favorite Aussie Black Sabbath song on here, NIB. But I mean, the rest of the album is great. You know, you have Wicked World, Behind the Wall of Sleep, the title track, The Wizard. So many classic Black Sabbath tunes are on here, and this is pretty much the album that invented heavy metal. There are plenty of heavy metal uh, and hard rock and songs before this, but this was probably the first metal album start to finish. And I really dig it quite a bit. My favorite Aussie Black Sabbath album, so definitely had to make this list. So Black Sabbath is going to come in at number 9. Coming in at number 8 is probably my favorite studio album from this band, and that is going to be Trey's Home Brace from Zlazy Top. I really dig Zlazy Top quite a bit. Uh, they're my top 10 favorite uh, artists of all time. Uh, number 6, I believe, and they're easily my second favorite Southern Rock band. This isn't my favorite ZZ Top album. My favorite album from them is Raw, which is their soundtrack album to their documentary they put out a few years ago. Really love that album quite a bit. came out last year in 2022. But as far as studio album goes, this is easily my favorite. Definitely a tough toss-up between Fandango and Eliminator. I love all three of them to death. But this one is probably the only studio album I did that's a 10 out of 10 for me. I really like all the songs on here. You know, some people might not like every song on here, but I really dig them quite a bit. And, you know, some of the standouts on here, of course, you have LaGrange, which is probably their biggest hit outside of some of the hits off Eliminator. And, you know, you have Beer Drinkers and Hellraisers, Jesus Just Left Chicago, Have You Heard, Master of Sparks, Waiting for the Bus that kicks off this album. So many great Southern rock and tunes on here. It was definitely hard not to include this on this list. So Trey's Home Race from Zazy Top, that is going to come in at number 8. Coming in at number 7, uh, this band for that I put in number 7 was definitely a tough choice to which is my favorite album by them. Because uh, they have so many really great albums. But I went with Led Zeppelin 4 from Led Zeppelin. You know, Led Zeppelin is in my top 5 favorite artists of all time. They're number 5. And, you know, I'm surprised they didn't make it a little higher on this list, but there's some albums I like a little bit more than some of the Led Zeppelin ones. And, you know, my two favorite Led Zeppelin albums are definitely Led Zeppelin 1 and 4, but then I remember Led Zeppelin 1 came out in 1969, so I said, eh, what the hell, we'll throw 4 on here. But, you know, they have so many other great albums like Physical Graffiti and the third one, even Led Zeppelin 2, which was a 60s album, is also really good. But, you know, I went with Led Zeppelin 4 because it has a lot of my favorite tunes by them on here. My favorite one on here is probably the last song on the album, which is When the Levee Breaks. Really love that tune quite a bit. And some people might find some of the songs on here a little bit overplayed, like Black Dog or Stairway to Heaven or Rock and Roll. But I really love those songs quite a bit. They're definitely classics uh, from when I first got into rock music. This was definitely one of the first bands and albums I ever got into. And, you know, pretty much sent me down on a path of some rock and music from the 70s and all onward. So Led Zeppelin IV. Definitely had to make this list. That is going to come in at number seven. Coming in at number six was definitely an obvious pick for me and for a lot of people. And that is going to be The Dark Side of the Moon from Pink Floyd. 
Pink Floyd has a lot of really good albums from the 1970s. Some big Pink Floyd fans like the 70s albums before this, and others like The Wall or Wish You Were Here or Animals, but Dark Side of the Moon has always stood out to me as their best album and their best achievement, in my opinion. Uh, this is probably the only 10 out of 10 Pink Floyd album for me that I like listening to, because I do like a number of other Pink Floyd songs spread across their whole uh, discography, but this is probably the only album I really, really like by them. I've always found The Wall and... All the other albums, just a little bit overrated. I've always found Pink Floyd General just a little bit overrated, but this album is definitely not overrated at all. It's a fantastic album, a masterpiece of psychedelic rock, in my opinion. You know, the production on here is great. Everything sounds great on here. Probably one of my favorite album sounds in general. And, you know, the songs on here will stand the test of time. You know, you have Time and Money, which are the two biggest hits. And, you know, On the Run, The Great Gig in the Sky, Breathe in the Air... Uh, brain Damage, Clips, so many great songs on here that definitely make up for a perfect album, or if not perfect, damn near perfect, in my opinion. So the Dark Side of the Moon for Pink Floyd, that is going to come in at number six. Comment number five has always been my favorite album from this band, that is going to be Cosmos Factory from Credence Clearwater Revival. CCR is another top ten band for me, number seven in my list, and I really love CCR to death quite a bit. Most of their albums came out in uh, 1969. They're uh, three of their biggest albums, but I would say this is probably their biggest album. It definitely has the most hits on here, and seven songs out of the 11, I think, on here made the greatest hits, uh, except the very first one with 20 songs, the Chronicle one, so that definitely shows you how strong of an album this is. But, I mean, you have Looking Out My Back Door, Who Will Stop the Rain, As Long As I Can See the Light, Up Around the Bend, Run Through the Jungle, and Traveling Band. So many really awesome classic rock songs on here that definitely will always stand the test of time because Creedence Clearwater Revival still has like over 20 million something listeners on Spotify and all the streaming services and they haven't been a band since 1972. So uh, pretty much like 51 years I think now. So uh, definitely shows you how great of a band CCR is and they will all, uh, always stand the test of time for sure. So Cosmos Factory had to make this list easily. That is going to be my number five. The next four albums were pretty easy because all four of these made my top 10 favorite albums of all time. That was one of the first talking videos I did on this channel. But number four is going to be Van Halen's debut album. You know, one of the most important and legendary debut albums of all time, just like Black Sabbath's, you know. This pretty much revolutionized how guitar was played. Definitely influenced all the 80s guitar players in terms of playing and guitar tone and all that good stuff. This and Are You Experience from Jimi Hendrix Experience are probably the two most important debut albums for guitar. Maybe not necessarily the most important albums for guitar. Otherwise, you, you probably could make an exception for that, but, you know. Great guitar playing on here from Eddie Van Halen. Love his playing, love his guitar tone. And, you know, the rest of the band is on fire on this album. And they even have a song called On, on Fire on here, but, you know. Really strong stuff on here. You have Atomic Punk and Feel Your Love Tonight. Ain't talking about love. You really got me. Of course, you have the legendary eruption on here, which gives everybody chills to this day. Listening to it, you know, just a well-crafted rockin' album and one of my favorite debut albums of all time. And obviously one of my favorite albums of all time since it made my top ten. So Van Halen's self-titled debut album, that is going to come in at number four. We have another debut album on this list. It won't be the last one, but it's going to be my number three. And that is going to be Boston's self-titled debut. Pretty obvious pick for a lot of people, but you know... It's such a great album, you know, definitely not overrated at all. In my opinion, I love this album to death. Uh, probably my favorite guitar tone of all time is on this album with uh, Tom Scholz, who's a fantastic guitar player. Really love his playing and his writing, especially on this album. You know, Peace of Mind, this is probably a top 10 favorite song for me of all time, if not top 20. And, you know, you have Rock and Roll Band and Hitch a Ride, More Than a Feeling, Smoking, uh, Let Me Take You Home Tonight. All eight songs on here are fantastic songs. And, you know, this is definitely their best album and their best achievement. I mean, this song was one of the best-selling, I think this was the best-selling debut album of all time till Appetite for Destruction from Guns N' Roses came out uh, 10 years later, or le however many years later, uh, next decade in the 80s. But, you know, this album, fantastic album. Definitely go check it out if you haven't. It's pretty awesome and rocking. So Boston's uh, debut album, that was going to come in at number three. Number two is another obvious pick, but I really love this album quite to death, and, you know, it's sold bazillions of copies and still does to this day. That is going to be Rumors from Fleetwood Mac. 
I think Fleetwood Mac quite a bit, especially this album. You know, this has a top three song for me of all time, which is Songbird. I love Songbird to death, and you know, the other songs on here are also really great. You know, you have The Chain, Don't Stop, Gold Dust Woman, Old oh Daddy, Go Your Own Way, Silver Springs. And you know, it has the big, big hit off here, which is Dreams. Everybody loves that song, and I dig it quite a bit too. And secondhand news, uh, this disc definitely has a good, consistent lineup with tons of really good uh, musicians and songwriters. There's like three main songwriters on this album, and all of them are really, really strong. And you know, all really good singers and musicians in their own right. You know, definitely have to make this list for me since it's uh, in my top five favorite albums of all time. So, uh, Rumors by Fleetwood Mac, that's going to be my number two. Number one is a pretty obvious pick if you know me quite well, and that is going to be pronounced Leonard Skinner from Leonard Skinner. Uh, you know, their debut album that showed the world what Leonard Skinner was. This is a fantastic album, damn near perfect in my opinion, and has my favorite song of all time, which is Simple Man. And you know, you have Freebird on here and Gave Me Free Sets, Poison Whiskey and I Ain't the One, Tuesday's Gone. So many legendary classic songs on here, you know, that will always, always be remembered and listened to. At least by me, anyhow, because I love Leonard Skinner to death. They're my number one favorite band of all time, so this album obviously had to make this list. You know, uh, I only chose one album per band, otherwise the, the first five slots probably would have been all five 70s Leonard Skinner albums. And I might even have included their live album from the 76 and made it six, so definitely didn't want to do that. But this has always been my favorite album by them. Love the guitar playing on here. Love the vocals on here from Ronnie Van Sand. This is such a good album. Definitely go listen to it if you never have before because it is fantastic. Damn near perfect album, in my opinion. So pronounced Leonard Skinner, that is going to be my number one album from the 1970s and of all time. So those are going to be my top 10 favorite albums from the 1970s. I had a lot of fun with this, even though it was definitely a tough one. You know, some of these are pretty much my favorite albums of all time. I love all these to death. All of them are pretty close to perfect, if not perfect, in uh, some of their own rights. So, you know, you all be sure to let me know down in the comments below what your 10 favorite albums from the 1970s are. I would be very interested to hear what y'all have to say on this whole subject. And if y'all enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the old YouTube channel. I've got a lot more wicked stuff coming y'all's way. You can also follow me on the Instagram and the Tic Tac. Both will be linked down below in the description. So yeah, once y'all are done watching, go blast your favorite 70s album and then go out and kick some ass.